I recently gave a psychic reading to a guy who I'll refer to as Chris, simply to maintain his confidentiality, but I was accessing Chris's past lifetimes, which is something that I do in most of my psychic readings. And when I access a person's past lives, it's almost like uh, these images, visual images, they just appear to me almost like, almost like clips from an upcoming movie trailer. They're in high definition and they're crystal clear. And when I was looking into Chris's past lifetimes, I saw him living a lifetime in Spain over in Europe and he laid tile. He was basically a construction worker of some kind who specialized in laying down ceramic tile and he would create these beautiful, elaborate mosaics inside of wealthy people's houses, whether it be on the wall or on the floor. Also in that lifetime, I got images of him chain smoking. He always had a cigarette or a cigar in his mouth. After sharing this information with Chris, he found a couple neat similarities and synchronicities to his current situation and he shared those with me. He said, it's funny I, I mentioned the ceramic tiles because Chris said he's a project manager currently and he often goes to check up on his construction crews to see what they're doing and the progress that they're making, especially he finds uh, a need to drop in on them when they're laying tile. Uh, because Chris said he's always taken an interest in tile, you know, laying it down, arranging it, making sure it's done correctly and beautifully. And he said the funny thing is after he was going to leave my psychic reading, he was going over to check up on one of his crews who was laying tile on that very same day. So those are two neat similarities to his past lifetime. Uh, we went further down the rabbit hole and I also saw a past life that Chris had lived in Mississippi. A couple hundred years ago, he was a bartender, uh, and I got images of him, you know, serving people drinks all night long, and he's, he's, you know, around alcohol all day, every day, but he didn't drink. He was sober. He just preferred not to drink. His living quarters, according to what I was seeing, were literally right around the corner from the bar. So if you can imagine an old-fashioned bar, you know, stock full of liquor, and there's a mirror on the back wall. Chris's house was on the other side of that mirror. So at the end of the day, he would go right around the corner and he would be home. Uh, in his home, he was surrounded by books, hundreds of books. In that lifetime, he was an avid reader. And, you know, a couple hundred years ago in Mississippi, this is a time where not everybody could read or write. So I found that very interesting that he was very well educated. He also happened to be gay in that lifetime according to what I was seeing because after everyone would leave the bar and he cleaned up at the end of the night, his boyfriend or husband, whatever he, he preferred, would come home and they would there they would be. And uh, it was kind of sad but he had to hide that aspect of himself uh, for that whole lifetime. And uh, But after I described all this to Chris, he shared with me some really interesting similarities. He said, in this current lifetime, he is also gay, something I did not know about him. And I guess that just goes to show you that psychics don't know everything about everybody. You know, we're not mind readers, but uh, interesting. He was gay in that life. He's gay in this life. He said the, the part about him having uh, tons and tons, hundreds of books in that past lifetime was also significant for him because he said he's still an avid reader. And he said when people come over to his place for the first time, they always joke that it's almost like walking into a library, floor to ceiling books almost on every wall of his place. The last similarity that Chris reported was that uh, he doesn't drink much. Uh, interestingly enough, he has a fully stocked bar at home and he doesn't drink. He said he may have one drink on occasion if he's entertaining guests but he just prefers not to drink and that was also the case in his past lifetime. So some things did carry through and uh, eerily similar uh, nowadays to those two past lifetimes in Spain and Mississippi. One last case that I'll share with you, uh, I read a lady a few, it was a few months ago I guess by now, I'll refer to her as Cheryl and I was explaining to Cheryl that many of her past lifetimes had taken place in regions where she was surrounded by flowers and trees and plants and I felt that earthly elements were always really influential and really powerful in her past lifetimes and being that being the case I explained to Cheryl that still currently today being near trees was tremendously beneficial for her I felt that earthly elements such as trees and plants would be like a 
an antidepressant for her soul, just good at centering her and adjusting her energy. After explaining this to Cheryl, she began to chuckle and she informed me that she's always felt the same way. She has a strange fascination with trees and in fact, every year for the past 30 years, she and her husband make a trip to Minnesota where they are part of some organization or some group that plants uh, new trees. They plant baby trees and, and uh, it's, she said over the years they have literally planted tens of thousands of trees and so I, I, I couldn't help but laugh and I, you know, I told Cheryl there's proof positive that she herself is intuitive you know, to feel that connection to the earthly elements so strongly that she, she needed to plant tens of thousands of trees. It's a throwback to her past lifetime uh, where they were equally important. So past lifetimes, reincarnation in general has is, is always been one of my favorite subjects to talk about. You know, it makes you curious. It makes you wonder who you were, what you did. Uh, you know, could you have been somebody famous or have done something historically important in your past lifetimes? The answer is probably yes. You know, according to what I've found over the years, a lot of our natural predispositions, a lot of our talents, uh, interests, uh, fears, uh, quirks, and uh, aversions, you know, good or bad, a lot of things that we experience presently can be linked to past lifetimes where we were much the same as we are today. So I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, feel free to tune in and subscribe to my channel where I will surely post more videos about past lives in the future. Uh, thanks for watching.